Well, that was a quick game. Um, all right. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code it resolves 10 YP for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody and welcome back to some more historic gameplay before we jump into this one If you are enjoying these gameplay videos if you like the channel Please make sure you subscribe and take part in our community It really would mean a lot to us any and all support is greatly appreciated You can like the video as well if you do enjoy it also just as a quick heads up We are skipping challenge week this week solely because uh, we've got some new cards coming to arena very very soon I want to give things time to settle before we jump into the next one and that way we can stay on top of some of the new stuff but regardless let's talk about today's deck it is a mono blue control deck originally created by mtg arena uh original decks so thank you very much for the uh the deck list because it's a very very sweet one um it's basically mono blue uh technically there's a little bit of white you'll see we've got two planes here and the reason being is we actually have heliod's intervention here in the sideboard uh which can not only gain us life but also destroy artifacts or enchantments as needed you'll notice we've got quite a full sideboard as i just kind of scroll through very quickly uh and there's good reason for that so the idea is um we kind of use a lot of the early stages of the game as control elements. So we've got stern dismissal to bounce stuff, uh, memory lapse to kind of conditionally counter um, or lightly counter, I guess is the better phrase for that. Omen of the Sea, frantic inventory for some draw. We do have Fae of Wishes. That's going to be able to pull the stuff out of the sideboard. Uh, and then as you see, we get into the three and four drops. And a lot of what we have here are not only Planeswalkers and Mu Yan Ling to Fairy, uh, Jace is in here as well, but you'll notice we've also got things like Whelming Wave. Uh, and then here at uh, turn six, we actually have Flood of Tears as well. And the idea is essentially we're going to get uh, permanence down in the form of either Planeswalkers or Enchantments, specifically with Omen, even, even Fae of Wishes as a creature. Bounce everything with ideally Flood of Tears. Uh, which if we return four or more non-token permanents, we actually get to put a permanent card from our hand onto the battlefield. And that permanent is hopefully uh, going to be Omniscience. Now, obviously we can do it without Omniscience, bounce something else, and then be able to replay a Planeswalker, which can very easily take over the game on its own. But Omniscience is obviously the goal. If we can get Omniscience down, we can play our deck for free, essentially, uh, and basically control the game on the way out until we can get things like Kiora Best the Sea God down. Uh, and then of course just take over with Planeswalkers. So the idea is very, very straightforward. We also have Labyrinth here uh, as a way to remove stuff from attacks, uh, which is a really nice play after you've played Omniscience because you have all the open mana in the world. So it's actually a really, really nice thing to do. Uh, we do have double clear the mind in the sideboard. The reason being, if we can pull these out from the sideboard, we use one to shuffle our graveyard back in, draw a card, uh, but then we use the other one to shuffle the used clear the mind back in and then we can replay our entire deck uh, And so it's actually really really easy to get that going to fairy's ageless insight also a nice addition Not only is it a permanent for the flood of tears, but it also draws us extra cards We've obviously got a lot in our deck that draws cards to fairy in particular, but jace as well uh, Frantic or frantic inventory, excuse me uh, Omen all of which can then draw us an extra card after we've got this down so very very powerful list we'll see how well it works i've only bot tested this one so i don't know exactly how efficient it's gonna be uh, but we're gonna do the best we can we're gonna send it through three games in historic and see how it does let's go ahead and jump into game one all right guys here we are for game number one and this is an okay hand uh we've got double omen which is very nice it's gonna help us get to where we need to be we've also got to fairy in hand uh which is a very powerful planeswalker obviously so we'll happily keep and see where this takes us obviously we do want some bounce elements some control elements uh there's a flood of tears which is interesting i'm curious with with this this makes me lean towards a control deck which is going to be kind of scary for us um i think out of all of the matchups that's our worst uh that being said we'll see i have hope i have plenty of hope uh we do have a very nice little top end so if we can get it down at the right time we should be okay uh we'll pass to end step and then omen uh see if they want to counter i don't know if they could or would but we could try uh let's see 
Okay, uh, that's not a bad one. Um, I think we keep both of these actually. So we're gonna draw this. We're obviously just gonna draw the island then, um, and then throw that out and we'll pass. Uh, so here, what we could do is scribe, but I think we're not going to because we do want to keep the permanence up for the Flood of Tears as best we can. Uh, and then ideally, we might just play the other Omen, honestly. Uh, frantic Inventory, very, very good as well. We do want to get this in the graveyard, but yeah, it looks like uh, American Control. That's a scary one. Okay, uh, so we do want to get this down as quickly as we can then. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and do this. Uh, this crucially does shut down a lot of what we're trying to do. So we are going to need to, I'm actually going to put both of these on the bottom. Uh, we are going to need to kind of work our way around this a little bit. Omniscience is very good. We do want it in hand, but, um, at the moment, at the very least, we need uh, a way to deal with this. All right. Uh, hmm. Crucially, we can activate Teferi on the opponent's turn still. So that is worth noting. We also get a free turn to get this down. I think we go for it. Um, I'll go ahead and plus up. I understand that it doesn't do anything. We just have to discard a card, but, uh, stern dismissal, I don't think is going to do too much here. We could have also discarded the frantic inventory, but that's okay. Um, we'll draw a card here. We'll see what we get. Narset. Okay. Narset's very scary. Um, there's a flood of tears. We've already got one of those. Um, I'm going to discard that. I don't know if that's correct. I, I'm not positive. This is a very tricky game, in my opinion, because there's a lot that uh, we're going to have to figure out here. So you're going to potentially discard a card and maybe even kill to fairy. Yeah. Fair enough. You got it. Um, all right. That's not good for us, obviously. <laughs> um, but uh, we'll see what we can do here. Um, hmm. We do have five lands. That's not quite enough, though. Uh, all right, so what can we do? We could play Fey or we could play Granted. I think we would just play Granted here, right? Let's pull something uh, from our sideboard here. Uh, we can take this and steal at least a Planeswalker. That seems slightly better than I think anything else. Yeah, I think we just do that. Um, they obviously see it, so they could counter it very easily given the the deck that we are up against. But um, shutting down, like pulling their draws and being able to shut down what they're doing might actually be really, really good. Uh, alternatively, we can get Narset and then discard a card to Narset to, to destroy the other Narset um, and then theoretically kind of win the game off of their own Narset, which we'll see. Okay, so I'm assuming very heavily that they have something that could hit us here. Uh, so what do we do? Um, so we can steal a Planeswalker. Alternatively, um, we could just play Fey and then hold up Frantic. Uh, I kind of actually like that at the moment. Let's play Fey. Uh, these are both very scary, but this is not close to ultimating. Uh, so I think I'm actually okay with just playing out the Fey and kind of threatening a little bit here. All right, uh, that's fine. We can Frantic Inventory on their turn, uh, which is the key here. They did put a card on the bottom. Interesting. They're also not activating this Narset. I don't know if anybody's noticed, but, <laughs> uh, the idea being that they're trying to keep this guy around as best they can, uh, which makes a lot of sense. It's a very, very good card. Um, I'm going to go ahead and Frantic Inventory now. Doesn't really matter when we do it, but we're going to need to draw a card. So let's just do that now. And then if we need to, we can discard a card uh, or discard two cards, excuse me, to put Faye back into our hand. I don't think we want to do that. I think we just want to keep the lands as best we can. Um, what we'd love to be able to do is get to a point where we do have like two very powerful spells in our hand. Now we kind of already do, but uh, we really want to get to a point where we can play like an omniscience or something like that and really finish this game uh by kind of outpowering what the opponent is doing here okay um another land all right so do we go for this and just try and steal one um i think we do if they've got a counter they're gonna burn it uh x equals one i think we take 
Hmm. Good question, actually. I'm going to try and take this Narset. We'll see if this works. Um, I'm assuming they've got a counter. There's very little chance that they don't, um, especially given all this open mana. Yeah, they're going to mill three. That's fine. All lands. Wow. Okay. Um, well, in that case, what we're going to do is attack this Narset. And what this does is put them on two here. So if they want to activate it, they do have to kill it. Uh, which is great for us because then it opens up draw for us as well. Um, don't feel great about this game, I'll be honest. The the double Narset is very, very scary. Very good Planeswalker all around. Uh, and so to have both on the field like this is just, oh, it's, it's brutal. It's very brutal. Um, they also have basically all the mana they would need, I would think. Oh, okay. Interesting. Um... Okay, they're going to prevent the damage. That makes sense. Um, we really need just a permanent. Just one permanent would be amazing. Um, so we can Flood of Tears. That doesn't seem great. Uh, I also don't want to jump on that, though. Mm. I, I hate the position we're in because we just keep drawing lands and lands are really not good for us at the moment. Um, they're not bad for us, but they're not good for us either. We could crack these to scry, but then the, the trouble is then we don't have four permanent, excuse me, for um for Flood of Tears. And so that's actually not great for us. Alternatively, we could discard the two islands to push this into our hand. Uh, and then maybe pull something good from the sideboard that could work. Um Ugh. Very, very tricky place to be. Um Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Um, let's see if they activate this one. It looks like they're not going to. <sighs> but see, if we do that, then we are one permanent down. I mean, we get to replay it for sure, but like, it's still not a great place to be. Um, I think we have to do it, though. I mean, we just have to. We, we really need to get something into our hand here because this is about to ultimate. Um, all right. My turn. Wow, that's not helpful at all. Um, <laughs> okay, let's do this. Let's see if it happens. They could very easily have another counter. Ugh, yeah. No, so bad. Um, all right, well, then chances are I think we're definitely just dead here. Uh, they can start throwing some of this stuff at us, so that's very scary. What a rough game. Um, like I said, though, I do think control decks are kind of the bane of this version. Uh, this is very, very good, like with Whelming Wave and Flood of Tears. It's very, very good against creature heavy decks because you can just bounce everything back and it's not that big of a deal. You can slow them down a good bit. Um, but I do think against these uh, these control versions, it's just very, very difficult. Well done on the opponent's end, by the way. They have uh, played exceptionally well, holding back the Narset when they needed to use it. They used it and instead of uh, just throwing it off the uh, the counters as quickly as they could. So very, very well done. Uh, I think we are in a camp of just needing to scry here. We do know the Fae of Wishes is coming, but just in case, yeah, let's get that out. Uh, Fae of Wishes is worth keeping. I, I mean, there's just no doubt about it, but uh, yeah, this is very scary. We can just Flood of Tears and just bounce everything. Um, I mean, that is an option. I don't love that option, but it is an option. Um, what else do they have here? They've got Castle Vantress. All right, opponent. What you doing here? I'm being that guy. I shouldn't be that guy, but I'm being that guy. Uh, yeah, you got it. Um, I'm, I'm confused as to why they're stopped here. Um, how many cards do they have in their deck? 37. Hmm. I mean, I think the play might just be Flood of Tears. Just to reset all of this. The trick is, though, it really only deals with the Narset. It doesn't deal with... It helps on this Narset, and it doesn't do anything really against the Gideon. So I think the play is still... Maybe it's just Fey. And pull, like, Kioribus the Sea God and hope that works. Um, that... 
they're just being a, a douche. That was kind of a, a mean thing to do. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, man. All right, we're 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 conceding here. Uh, there's no way we can win, unfortunately. Let's go ahead, we'll jump into game two. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. Unfortunately, the first one did not go so well, but I have high hopes for this one. We've got uh, a good interactive uh, hand in the beginning, at the very least. We've got stern dismissal that we can play turn one if needed, uh, plus double frantic inventory, which obviously these do stack exceptionally well. Uh, and we do have the Flood of Tears plus the Omniscience. Now, that's not good for us. Uh, that does exile our graveyard, which just means that long term, uh, these frantic inventories aren't necessarily going to do the most. Plus, uh, the Clear the Mind play is maybe not so good as well. Um, but let's see what the opponent wants to do here. Do they want to go ahead? I mean, there's no reason to crack this now, but uh, let's go ahead and frantic inventory. I guess we could have waited, but it really doesn't matter. Um, Chances are what they are going to try and do, if I had to guess, is pick apart our hand a little bit and then exile the graveyard so we lose out on all the value that we've got. Maybe that's incorrect, I don't know, but interesting and explore. Okay, maybe not. Um, very interested to see what they actually have going on here because I'm not positive. Uh, so, um, do we want a frantic inventory now? I think we can wait. Um kind of get them to a point where they feel they have to crack this, maybe? Uh, we'll see. Uh, we do also leave up the stern dismissal here, which is nice. Um, we can do both, so that's not really a problem, but we'll see. Uh, very interesting. I'm curious to see what they're trying to do. So they're ramping like crazy, uh, which, if they're just playing big creatures, is kind of okay, because we've got plenty that we can do against just big creatures. Now, if they've got anything else going on, a little bit trickier, <laughs> um, but we'll see. They may try and crack this Soul Guide Lantern. Um, they may not, though, because we do have another one. Obviously, we we wouldn't play this without playing four copies, so chances are they might not crack it yet and just wait. Wow, no land. Oh, that's terrible for us. Okay. Um, hmm. In that case, uh, I think we have to do this. This is gonna hopefully draw us a land. We scry two and then draw, so like chances are we can we can get a land. Yeah, okay, that's good. Uh, we'll do this, and then we can pass, leaving up frantic inventory and drawing quite a bit of cards, unless they decide they do want to crack that lantern now uh, or before that frantic inventory. But we'll see. Um, and then next turn, we might be in a great position. I mean, it depends on what they play here. They've got five open mana, um, which is quite a bit, but they did play a land this turn. Gonna play a Mind Stone. So, I mean, I don't know. They're ramping for sure, which is interesting. Um, that's a little scary for sure. Uh, let's Frantic Inventory them. Okay. This does not bounce artifacts. That's a problem, uh, potentially. I really wish we had had the memory lapse now, but we just didn't. Um, so we can Teferi. I mean, it's not bad, uh, but it really isn't doing the trick. We can Fey, um, but that doesn't seem to be great either. I think it might just be Teferi here, uh, sadly. Um, let's do this. We'll draw and discard a card. Next turn, they might just be able to go off. That's a little scary for us. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, no. Let's discard a Teferi here. We are gonna have to, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna have to discard two cards. It's probably just gonna be, uh, it might just be Whelming Wave here, actually. We do wanna leave up the Stern Dismissal. In case they're playing, like, the, uh, Explore deck or something along those lines, we wanna be able to bounce something back. Uh, so we'll see. There is the Citadel. Uh, definitely expected that. That's fine. I mean, it's not, but it's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> um, all right. Resolve. Uh, at some point, we may want to activate the Teferi uh, minus three on a creature, so we do want to leave that up, uh, but we'll, we'll see. They return the Explorer, sure. Ah, uh, okay. Now, I think this is the non-creature version of the list, very clearly. Um, 
Yeah, this is the weather, the storm combo. Very, very good, by the way. Uh, very cool deck for sure. Um, I wish we had anything to hit artifacts. It's like the only bad side about this deck. Granted, I will say Flood of Tears does solve the theoretical problem, but uh, obviously they only need to, yeah, uh, I mean, we lose. Unfortunately, they can just wipe us out here. Uh, we'll just go ahead and concede. Man, two losses. Let's see if we can get one win. Let's see. We got this. One more game. Let's see if we can do it. All right, guys. Here we are for our third and final game. Let's see if we can actually do this. We have had very bad luck so far. Uh, I think against two very particular decks that are very, very difficult for us. Um, let's see if we can maybe get something this time. All right. Uh, let's see. We have got Frantic Inventory plus Memory Lapse. We're going to obviously leave up and just instant speed either one of these. That is kind of the nice part about this is we can instant speed most everything. Um, we'll go ahead and Frantic Inventory now. There's the Omniscience, uh, which is quite good. Now, obviously, just leaving up Memory Lapse. Hopefully we can counter something useful here. Um, and then theoretically... We will be okay. <laughs> we'll see. We have the Teferi. We also have Whelming Wave. All very, very good cards. Let's go ahead and memory lapse this. There was basically anything they did that turn, we were going to probably memory lapse. Um, now, the chances of us needing to do it again, probably not quite as high. I think we can... Wow, I just realized how many cards they have in their deck. Why? That's so weird. Um... As much as I don't want to, I think it's the Ageless Insight that we're going to have to get rid of here. They may just play Drana again, uh, in which case we can Whelming Wave it if we'd like. That's not really a big deal. Um, they are going to play it. That's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and draw and discard. There's a land that is pretty good here. Uh, I think maybe it's Memory Lapse that we lose. Okay. Um, hmm. Jana's very scary. Now, what can we... I mean, I think the easy play is just to do this. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, and then what we can do is plus this up. We'll see what we get. And the opponent gives up. Well, that was a quick game. Um, all right. I, we did it, I guess. That was weird. Uh, let's talk about this one. This has been a strange one. All right, so... Obviously not the best outcome. This deck is very strange. Uh, I feel like it's extraordinarily well suited in matchups that we didn't see. And I think you kind of got a hint at that in that third game, uh, because obviously they were just playing creatures and we're able to bounce those creatures. And that's not really a problem for us to deal with. Whereas control lists, anything artifact based, which we saw with the Bolas' Citadel deck, those are things that we really don't have a good, uh, a good solution to in our deck. Now, Flood of Tears does work, but we do have to get there. And unfortunately, especially in the case of the Citadel deck, um, that doesn't, it, it didn't really pan out the way we were hoping to, I guess is the best way to put it. But regardless, very fun list. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, if that makes sense. I think it could with some, um, maybe a little bit of tweaking, maybe a little bit more interaction, maybe some counters other than just memory lapse. I think maybe you could get somewhere with it. Uh, and I do think there are going to be a lot of games where this could take down some, some significant uh, historic strategies right now. But all that to say, I don't think it's great. I think it's very fun. It's a very interesting deck. And again, uh, MTG Original Decklist, I believe, is the one that did this. Uh, so thank you very much for putting together what was a very interesting list. I just didn't think it really suited the the, the the strategy in the meta right now but that's just my opinion if you guys have a different experience please test out the deck see what you think give me a heads up in the comment section below do for do remember uh not forget do remember to subscribe and like the video if you did uh and we really would appreciate any and all support but guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you very soon for some more gameplay videos